AVV Nation, all of YouTube. What's going on? My name is Patrick, Senior Instructor here at VectorVest. Hopefully you're doing well today. Are you a trader that is trading either in a cash account or a non-margined account? Well, if you are, I've got five new ideas that you should keep on your radar. These are brand new utilities that you have available to you to help avoid any major downfalls in your portfolio in case this market that we're seeing right now maybe running out of steam, or if it turns out to be a bear market rally, well, these are gonna be some great utility ETFs that you're gonna be able to use to take advantage of the down market if this market starts rolling over in the future. So if you're ready to see what these are and learn how to improve your own trading with these, make sure as always, smash that like button, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. All that helps us out and doesn't cost you a thing. And with that, let's go ahead and get right into it here today. All right, welcome back everybody. So today I wanted to bring you some new ideas here. This is from an investment company, AXS Investments, and these are the first tools of their kind. So typically when you think of an ETF, you think of a basket of stocks or something linked to a specific commodity. These ETFs are linked directly to an individual equity that gives you leverage as well. So if you're somebody who's trading in a retirement account or a non-margined account or cash account, these can be extremely powerful for you, especially if you're not fully convinced that this rally that we've seen in the market is the start of a new bull rally and you think it may just be a bear market rally, which it very well could be, but only time will tell. Well, if it is the case that this is just a bear market rally, these tools will be able to help you make money in that down market without having to have margin or being able to play this market to the downside or specific stocks to the downside. So that way you can profit instead of having to just sit in cash and wait for a new buying opportunity. So what we're gonna be looking at is five different Contra ETFs and these all came out within the last three weeks or so. So some of these, especially since the market has been rallying since that point, haven't really been trading that actively. So therefore, if you're going to be utilizing these, make sure to keep an eye on volume, but expect when the market starts to roll over or if we get another leg to the downside, expect to see volume coming into these quickly and rapidly as well. So the first one that we have here is PFES, which is a two times Contra ETF on Pfizer. If you're not familiar with any of these, as always, if you're using VectorVest, when in doubt, right click. When you right click, let's say on the next one, NVDS, you get the second option of view full stock analysis report. Well, if you pull that up, right here in the business description, it'll tell you exactly what it's doing. So once again, it's exchange trader fund, and this seeks the daily investment results before taxes and expenses corresponding to one and a quarter times the inverse, so negative 125% of the daily performance common shares of NVIDIA. So, you know, if NVIDIA starts rolling over, you could buy this and as NVIDIA goes down by 1%, this goes up by one and a quarter percent. So it gives you a little bit extra leverage and a, another opportunity to take advantage of some of the bigger names out there by playing them to the downside rather than having to only be able to go long all the time or play them to the upside the whole time. So the ones that we have, once again, Pfizer at two times leverage, we have Nvidia at one and a quarter, Tesla or TSLQ is a one to one. So as Tesla goes down 1%, this goes up 1%, Nike, which is a two times leverage, and then PayPal, which is a one and a half time leverage. So as you can see right now, all of them do have either a hold or sell recommendation. Therefore stating right now is probably not the best time to be getting into them. But like I said, these are new tools that are designed to help you take advantage of a down market. And right now the market has been rallying. So if we start to roll over and start to see a new leg for this next uh, or the next leg of the bear market starting to take form, well, these could definitely be a great tool to take advantage of it or take advantage of that down leg, make some money in it, and then that way you have more cash to reinvest when that bottom actually comes. So let's go ahead and just simply highlight them all here, or actually we'll just click on the graph all button at the top, 
and we'll take a look at the graph of these real quick. Once again, you're not gonna see a whole lot of data since they haven't been trading that much or they've only been trading for a few weeks now. And as you can see, VectorVest has been tracking them for about eight days or eight market days. So that's about two weeks and there it's a little shy of three weeks. So ever since really their first performance, but looking at the two times leverage uh, of Pfizer, you can see pretty sideways movement, volume once again, pretty low, solid decent day on the 28th and 29th, but not a whole lot from that point. If we move on to the next one, NVIDIA. NVIDIA has been going up recently with the new chips bill. So obviously this has been going down, but if we start seeing semiconductors and chip makers start to slow down or start to reverse course, this could definitely be one to take advantage of there. Then we go down to the next one, TSLQ. Tesla obviously has been rallying ever since the earnings call last week. Therefore, TSLQ has been moving lower, but this is a great way to take advantage of Tesla if it starts to continue to move lower. This is a great way to make some money on it without having to you know, have a margin account and without having to be able to physically short the stock. So therefore, you know, if you're taking or if you're waiting for Tesla to start going lower, especially with more competition in the market now, this could be one to keep on your radar. And we move down to the next one. Nike, two times leverage. You can see not a whole lot of movement. Volume is pretty light. Once again, that's to be expected. These came out less than three weeks ago. So volume has been pretty light, especially since the market has been moving higher. But that's why these aren't really the best time to get in or these aren't really a tool for your investing right now. These are to help prepare in case we start seeing the market reaching the end of a bear market rally and start to enter into the next leg down. And then last but not least, we have PayPal one and a half time leverage. You can see PayPal starting to move higher once again. So therefore this has been moving lower. So if you can see, if you noticed, the most liquid one that we have here is the one on Tesla. So if you're somebody who thinks Tesla is grossly overvalued and that Tesla could be potentially getting ready to move lower, well, this could be one that uh, has a lot of liquidity that you can be in and out of and trade it very actively if you wanted to. Now, one quick thing as well to add in here. These are five contra ETFs, but we can also go in here and we can add in PFE, TSLA, and NVDA for NVIDIA, Nike, NKE, and then PYPL. Taking a look at the five stocks that they're based upon. We can see Tesla currently has a value of $290.35, where it's trading at $891. So Tesla is a grossly overvalued stock. Looking at NVIDIA, NVIDIA is trading at 183. Its current value is 121. Therefore, another over leveraged stock or an overvalued stock here. And then we look at Pfizer. Pfizer is actually undervalued. So therefore, Pfizer may not be the best opportunity right now. But then looking at Nike, Nike is another overvalued stock. So therefore, it makes sense to keep these on your radar because a lot of these stocks, even including PayPal, which is almost 200% overvalued currently, all of these stocks are extremely overvalued still, even after the big sell-off that we've seen with them. So therefore, these are some great ideas to keep on your radar. But once again, keep an eye on that volume to make sure that the volume starts picking back up. And most likely, I would expect to see that volume pick up once the market starts rolling over again, or once these stocks start slowing down and start to make that second leg lower, if this is a true bear market rally that we're in currently. So with that, thank you all for hanging out. Let me know your thoughts on these down below. You know, would you find these to be useful if you're somebody who's in a retirement account that can't, you know, short Tesla? Would this be a useful investment for you? Let me know your thoughts once again in the comments. So with that, take care. Thank you all for hanging out. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And until next time, toodles.